Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are here on Tiabaroa, and we're actually in multiplayer. I ended up getting host of this server after the original host left, so I decided to change it to Feral Pig Time, and hopefully we can bag ourselves a good Feral Pig. But, I'll be happy with anything else that we might find along the way. Let's just hope that there's a bunch of decent stuff. The host of this server was a decently low level, so I'm thinking we might find something good, or at least I'm hoping, so... I guess we'll see, but if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the like button. It's a massive help to the channel, and it makes it so these videos perform better, and in turn, that helps me out a ton. So, I really appreciate everybody that has been hitting the like button and leaving comments down below suggesting different weapons or different species for the videos. All the interaction helps the channel out a lot, and I can't thank you guys enough for it. And recently, I decided to change a few things in my perk layout, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going here now. I completely got rid of all of the archery perks because, uh, to be honest, I wasn't really using them too much, and this move and shoot perk isn't exactly too important because, honestly, the sway when you move left and right in your scope isn't really that big of a deal. I mean, let's be honest, how many times is this actually going to matter too much when you're going like that? There's uh, not many situations where that's going to make too big of a difference or be that big of a deal, so I got rid of that. And then I decided to add a couple more points into Lightning Hands, so we're now at level 3 on Lightning Hands, and I also decided to get... where did it go? The other... Uh, level 2 for fast shouldering because we were just at level 1 before now we're at level 2 uh, We'll real quickly take a look at each of these so you guys can get an idea of how many points I have Into each category if you guys are wanting to uh, copy the perks that I use But I thought it might be kind of fun to do a bit of a hunt here on Tiawaroa since we had some pretty good luck last time and with this new perk layout hopefully it'll allow us to make faster follow-up shots and also be able to Hopefully reload quicker because that's been an issue. Oh, and that brings me to one other thing I did get the second level of muscle memory which increases ready speed after firing so I can fire slightly faster with bolt-action rifles now than I could before and I think that's gonna help out a lot on the great one grind because that was something that I had Happened quite often where I'd go to shoot again with the 300 and it just would not fire in time so hopefully this is going to kind of negate that issue, but I think this will be a pretty good pig to start out with. Let's go ahead and see if we can smoke this guy with the 303. And then if we can, we'll try to get that brown hybrid one as well. I think we can get it right here if it stops. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. I think we did get vitals. There is our first kill of the day. This is a black gold feral pig scoring gold actually at 100.50, so it just barely made it. But that's a great way to start things out, getting a gold, black gold feral pig. Now I already uh, spent quite a bit of time in the intro, so we're not going to waste too much time on uh, small animals like this guy right here. But once again, we made a pretty decent shot, only single lung, but it did take it down relatively quickly. And since they're kind of on the way over to where I'm going, let's just get a couple shots into these right here. Uh, the second shot was not great, so let's try to get another into it if I could aim properly. Which, uh, as we all know, that's not a common thing here. There is the first one that we took a shot at. We just got a single lung, unfortunately, but I mean, it was just a female, so it's not really a too big of a deal if we didn't get double lung. And let's go ahead and grab this one, another female. This is the pink variant. I'd love to get a male with this fur because it's actually kind of rare. And I think a lot of people consider it to be a true rare when you get a male with either the pink or the black spots because it's just something you never see. I've only seen it happen like once or twice and both the ones that I got were during the early access period for Tiawaroa. And one thing that's kind of odd that I just noticed is there's actually some fallow deer drinking, but it's not fallow drink time at all. It's 5.40. I'm assuming it's because I changed the time to a uh, feral pig time, and since we're in multiplayer, things tend to be kind of laggy and delayed sometimes. I mean, this fallow deer finally figured out what it's supposed to do, but the other ones, uh, they're a bit behind. So we got a few more feral pigs down here. It looks like there's three males. Uh, none of them are that high of a level, but we will take that one right there because I actually do kind of like that fur type. It looks really good. It's like a full jet black, which looks amazing. 
And I think we got the second one as well. It definitely looks like it. Let's see if we can get the third even. Yeah, we definitely got it. Definitely got that third mail. Here is the third one that we shot. This guy is just a dark brown. 40.50. Very low scoring. It uh, probably just barely made silver. Yeah. So it just barely made silver. We did get double lung and that's why it dropped so quick. But definitely not a big pig. This one is also not very large at all. It is a 82.70. I think the other one's probably going to be the best one out of all of them. And uh, it's also probably the nicest looking of all of them, though the brown hybrids are pretty cool. I think these uh, look just a little bit cooler. This jet black looks amazing on them, and it's actually slightly smaller than the last one. That's unfortunate. I mean, looks amazing though. Okay, that is actually a really big level four. Uh, there is another four as well, but that one in particular looks huge, and I think it's actually got a chance of maybe being diamond i've heard people say the diamond level fours are a thing i've never seen one myself but i have heard that they do exist so maybe that could possibly be one though i'm not gonna hold my breath considering my last two fives ended up trolling but you know maybe this will be different there's one of the fours the other one should be really close i'd preferably like to get both of them but i want to make sure we prioritize the bigger of the two and then get the other guy second but I don't know where the rest of the pigs are. As of now, I just see the smaller four. Oh, there we go. Is that him? Yeah, that's him right there. So uh, let's uh, get this guy down real quickly since he has a decent chance of making it. And they somehow see me. That's not good. Not good at all because this is a bad angle. But that was a better angle and we actually got him down. So we could possibly... Get the other one. I don't think we will be able to, though. I don't actually see where he went. But at least we got this one down. Let's hope this ends up making it. It's probably not going to, but I really hope it does because I've been after a diamond feral pig for a long time and never got it. But it is at the bottom of the estimate. Still a big one, though. Like, I can't complain. It's a good one regardless, but just sucks that it didn't quite make it. But, uh, it is what it is. We'll get one eventually. Wait, is that? That most certainly is. That is a melanistic rabbit. Let's, uh, get that down real quickly. Not too often that I see those anymore, just because I don't hunt the rabbits much. They're actually not a rare, they're just an uncommon, but... Still pretty cool to get, and we might as well kill a couple other rabbits while we can. Since they are still around here. But that's definitely kind of cool. It's uh, not crazy, but a melanistic female European rabbit. Definitely not terrible. Best thing we've seen today at the minimum. And this wasn't too bad of a rabbit either. 1.80 didn't quite make gold, but it got very close. So I wanted to get it down just on the off chance that it was a big one. Since the original host had left and I decided to uh, stick around on the server. I've been just checking all the different times. We went through the feral pigs and now I've switched it to red deer time and we've already got a pretty good red deer out in front of us. A really nice level 8. Let's uh, see if we can get a solid shot in there. The 303 is by far my favorite rifle for the red deer because it, it has just slightly more power than the 30-06 and with the red deer you need all the extra power you can get. It's just a great rifle for them. Okay, I'm not sure where these guys were, but they just arrived basically where we shot that 8, so I mean, we might as well take one of them just to, just to get a little bit extra cash to grab as we go over there to pick up the 8. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up this 7 as we run by 192, so a pretty good size level 7, and one of the racks that looks very similar to the legacy ones. Always love the way that these look. They uh, look pretty nice. There is that massive red deer right there. And something that I've been thinking about recently is with all of the crap that everybody gives expansive worlds nowadays, myself included, I mean, they're uh, definitely not perfect, you know. They're not a perfect development team. They do their best and they've got a lot of limitations right now with all of the uh, lockdowns and restrictions and stuff. And 
We've definitely seen the game take a bit of a toll because of that with more bugs coming in, but I gotta give credit where credit is due in everything, and I still think that the Red Deer are the nicest looking Truax they've ever put out. They've got so much variety, and though the scoring on them is a bit weird, they don't necessarily score the way I'd want them to, I still think they are the best looking Truax to date. Though there is a lot of other awesome looking Truex, there's just something about the Red Deer and like the sheer variety that they have. I just absolutely love it. One of the reasons that I bring this up is because recently I've had a couple people that were curious why I don't complain about the bugs as much as other creators might. And one of the main reasons that I don't, I mean, I do to an extent in the live streams, you guys probably hear me mention them quite often, how the game's got a lot of issues right now and that I'd love to see them fixed. But the main reason I don't complain about it till the end of time is because I really just don't see it that beneficial. It's much more beneficial to the development team and also the community as a whole to instead just bring the issues to the devs and give them ways that they could possibly replicate the issue and fix it because just saying this is broken fix it does not really help them at all. It's much more helpful to actually give them an idea of how it could have possibly happened which is why when filling out stuff like bug reports and stuff like that in the discord or through their support or whatever it may be it's much more helpful to them and everybody else if you state what the issue is and how you could possibly recreate the issue or what you were doing when you found that issue because that type of stuff is very beneficial to the team and it's also very helpful to getting the game fixed and I mean, stuff like that is how we've had things like the Great One bug fixed before, where the bug Great Ones were happening. I sent a lot of different evidence showing how it possibly could happen and how they could possibly fix it. And because of that, they ended up actually being able to. And it wasn't just me. There was a lot of other people that were doing the same thing. And the more that we do that type of stuff, the more issues in the game will get fixed. And I think all of us can agree that the more bugs get fixed, the better the experience will be and the better the community will be. We'll be a lot happier, there'll be a lot less negativity and that is the ultimate goal in the end for me is I want to just try to stay as positive as possible and help everybody out and make this community as positive as it can possibly be and get rid of as much negativity as we can. Which is why I always make it a point that any time that I'm criticizing the developers for anything, I try not to do it in a way that is just, uh, I guess, what I would consider dev bashing. Because at the end of the day, not everything is as easy to fix as it may seem, and the more that we can offer them when it comes to information about how things might have occurred, the better chances that they'll be able to fix it in a timely manner. And, Though, like I was saying, there are a lot of different factors right now that are causing development to slow down. It definitely doesn't help that a lot of people don't really give them anything to go off of. They just say, this is broken, fix it now, or else we're mad. And Though, I can understand how on first impulse or whatever, it could be easy to just do that, but it's definitely not nearly as helpful to the dev team as giving them an idea of what possibly could have caused the bug. I just thought I would quickly mention that since I do have a decent amount of you guys watching the channel that are part of the community that may be concerned about bugs, and though I know quite a few of you don't do it this way, there are people out there that just complain about the issues and repeatedly just say the development team is a terrible team, that they don't know what they're doing, when in reality they're not really providing any helpful information to help them fix it in the first place, and I figure that the more we can provide them with helpful information, the better the game will be in the long run. And like I said, and most of you guys know, I criticize their game quite often, but I just don't do it in a way that is unhelpful and quite frankly immature. But now that we got through that uh, lengthy little rant there, let's uh, get back to the hunt. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of red deer. That's gotta be like two to three herds right there. Uh, unfortunately, none of these are really anything crazy, so we're not going to shoot any of them, but that is something else. My gosh, that is a lot of red deer. Well, they may not be considered a rare, but I would like to get a little bit of use out of the Mosin, so we might as well take out this chamois with the Mosin and see if we can get a good shot on it. This one is a leucistic, but unfortunately the leucistic chamois are not a rare and neither are the melanistics. They, for some reason, over-spawn like crazy, so... 
I don't really ever tax any of these unless, of course, we get like a diamond one, but other than that, these ones are not really that rare. There she is. There is our little leucistic chamois. Let's go ahead and pick her up. We got left lung and wow, <laughs> that's actually kind of an impressive shot to make. All right, then we completely missed the right lung and got the left lung. Interesting. Well, we got another leucistic chamois right here. It is once again, just a small female, but let's go ahead and take it out since there's nothing better around here or at least nothing better that's visible. Once we shoot, we might get to see something else pop out, hopefully. Oh, that is a mythical red deer. You know, let's uh, go ahead and take that guy out, actually, since he's in kind of a cool spot. It's really not every day you get to take a red deer up here in the hills, so that's actually really awesome. I'm actually kind of glad we got to do that. There is an absolute ton of chamois here, but none of them are above level 3, which is kind of sad. There's so many of them, and none of them are above level 3. I guess that's uh, just my luck with chamois, though. We've only killed one diamond and been trolled like two or three times, I believe, and haven't seen anything crazy for the chamois ever since that last diamond. But let's go ahead and grab that little leucistic 4130, just a small female once again. I know the female chamois can make diamond, but I've never seen one of those make it either. So maybe one of these days that can be another goal is going for a female diamond chamois. Although I feel like it's virtually impossible. It's been ages since I've seen one posted and I just don't really feel like grinding chamois that much to the point where we would get one of those. Well, there's our mythical red deer. This is probably the best thing we've killed today. Yeah, this is 225.20, so it's better than our last one. Not bad, but definitely not a diamond, and I'd love to find one of those if we can. Oh my gosh, there we go. Level five chamois. I don't think that's gonna make it though. That does not look like it hooks back enough. But then again, I'm not super uh, familiar with what they're supposed to look like, so Maybe this will make it. I really hope so. It's been ages since I've seen a level 5 chamois. Where did it even go? I've completely lost where it went. There it is. Uh, let's wait for it to calm down and then we got to take that thing out. That is super awesome. Okay, it finally calmed down about 135 meters away. Let's uh, see if we can maybe get a shot on it. I'm really hoping that we can. It's uh, not angled great, so it's hard to say, but oh wait, there we go. And just like that, we got it. Oh my gosh, could this be a diamond chamois? I'm also not too familiar with what fur type this even is. I think it might be the honey tones. If that's the case, that'd be kind of cool, but I don't think this is gonna make diamond regardless. It doesn't really look like diamond horns to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's uh, not diamond horns. That's unfortunate. 5680, it's actually like over a point below diamond, wow. And it is a uh, dark brown, so it's not even honey tones like I thought it might be, but I mean, at least we got a five. It's uh, not a diamond, though, and this has been my luck with chamois for the longest time. But I guess on that note, this video is uh, getting relatively long, so we should probably go ahead and end it. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what your opinions are on... I guess the way people handle the bugs in this game, since that was one of the talking points of this video. And also, let me know what you guys think about the new perks that I decided to use instead of uh, the previous layout we had. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. But with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!